We made it to the lake. It keeps gurgling right underneath our feet as the ice is warming. You can hear it just go, 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 go. You hear that? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! We're in Glacier National Park. Okay, we're actually not in Glacier National Park, but we're in Big Fork, Montana, and it is the cutest small town. It's right outside of Glacier National Park. Today, we are headed up to the National Park for our first adventure. We don't know quite where we're going, but it's gonna be fun. We just wanted to give you a quick rundown of how we got to Glacier National Park after spending two months in beautiful Maoria. Not to say Glacier National Park isn't beautiful, it's just a lot colder here. I'm so sad! Like all good things, this time must come to an end. Maoria is definitely, definitely one of the most beautiful islands we've ever been to. We took a plane from Maoria to San Francisco. Once we got to San Francisco, we flew to Denver. I don't really feel like I need a shower just yet, which I've never said that after an eight hour flight. Yeah. Do you feel gross? I really don't. Too bad. Although some girl just budged in front of us in line. I can take this off. She must have really, really needed to talk. Anyway, we're off to Steamboat Springs. Steamboat! Ooh. Why does it say it's three hours and 45 minutes away? Where Michael's brother lives, my brother-in-law, and we stayed with them for a couple weeks before Christmas. Winter? What do you think about the lights? Yes, the pole tells it all. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Yeah. Merry freaking Christmas. Merry Christmas. After that, flash forward a couple weeks, we drove home to Minnesota because we didn't want to take any chances on um, airplanes. I know we had just been on airplanes, but we quarantined, did what we needed to do. So then we drove back to Minnesota, spent about three weeks at my parents' house for Christmas and the holidays, and then we rented a car. We drove out to Glacier National Park, and that is where we are currently, and I'm so excited! The place we're staying is amazing. I've never been to Glacier, Mike's never been to Glacier, so we're gonna go check it out. It's gonna be awesome. All right, this is our first hike in Montana. And we're gonna be in the Flathead area, so. Yeah, we thought we were going to Glacier National Park, but it turns out this is actually Flathead National Forest. A good introductory hike. Forever, unless these two trees fall. Like, there's no way 
it can go further because of the tree, how the trees are slanted. That's so crazy. It's like eternity, unless it falls. You know. Seems like yesterday we were walking in the sun around white sand, and now we're walking in the sun with white water, <laughs> with snow that looks like white sand. Awesome. Jump. Oh God. Attempt number two. I hope this one does not break. You guys hear it cracking? <laughs> okay. <sighs> we just ran across some trail. A downhill. With just straight ice on our hike. Well, what do you think, Laura? Do you think you can do it this time? You mean slide down? Slide down. That's such a good idea. Okay, let's try. Oh my God! <laughs> what? I'm coming. Okay. I'm pretty nervous about this. I'm gonna put the gloves on and try not to break the camera okay. or these glasses I just got. <laughs> Laura made it look so easy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my God. What? Oh my God. That was awesome. Yeah, I was not expecting that. <laughs> this is crazy. This is exactly why we came out to Montana. Check this out. So ideally we're here for the sun dropping just below the mountain. Looks like about, what, a half hour before that happens? Put up the four fingers, we'll see. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> so I grew up in Minnesota, going up north every weekend to northern Minnesota. So we've la we have tons and tons of lakes there and it also gets really cold. So we're pretty used to frozen lakes, however, I guess I didn't realize just how much frozen lakes make noise and crack and splash and it's freaky. We've been sitting here for what, a half hour? <laughs> yeah. And every time, that's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> and we can feel it shifting under our bodies. So it feels like we're about to just dump right into the lake and die. But the reality is, I mean, this is pretty solid ice. It's the middle of January. And it's, I know it's deep, I can see in between the cracks, but it's just so freaky at the same time. It is terrifying. No, <laughs> don't try to make it happen. I'm so cold. <laughs> All right. So unfortunately today we didn't capture the sunset, but we definitely reached our cold limit. <laughs> and so I think we're gonna get out of here. From islands to frozen lakes, 
adventures. Is it working? We're in Glacier National Park. Okay. Do that again. Sorry, you were moving it too much. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Are you kidding me? You guys, you can't even tell in the camera, but that is the coolest pink ever! Oh my god. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Michael just jumped out of snowmobiling path. Well, it looked like the real path. <laughs> so we're gonna go check it out. It's gonna be awesome. And I sound so peppy because I'm so excited tonight. <laughs> I'm not just trying to do it for the video. I'm actually, actually this excited. No, I'm gonna try and slide down. Oh, there's a person. Hey. You see that? That's not a person. Not? Nope. Is a bear? The thing standing up out there? Yeah. It's just a tree. I think it's a person. <laughs> well, he just waved. Where? That was a bad slip floor. It's really icy. I just fell. I mainly fell on my knee. That didn't feel good. Well, it's not like you're wearing knee pads and elbow pads. You know what I mean? You just fell straight down raw. Yeah. That's not what I meant to say. Raw? The ice is thick enough. <laughs> what did that scare you, Laura? I just almost pooped my pants. I'm like, ah! <laughs> what are you starting to hightail it? Yeah, sorry, I left you behind. <laughs> you did leave me behind. Numb, my butt is numb. 